What's your name? Kirsty. Kirsty, what needs fixing, Kirsty? Everything. Everything. <laughs> um, I've got fibromyalgia. I've had it for 25 years ish. Um, I nearly died from pneumonia, which they think was the emotional trauma that caused it. Right. But I work with people every day and kind. I'm a medium, working medium, so I'm like that lady that I just don't look after myself. We know we do as therapists and mediums. So let's change that then. Yes, let's do it. Yes, let's change that. Okay, so what's it going to take for you to look after yourself? Could be a big slap in the face. <laughs> 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 we tell everybody else to do it and then we don't do it ourselves. Yes, yeah, so this is the $64,000 question. What is it going to take for everybody in the audience, everybody at home, what is it going to take for you to look after yourself better? Sometimes it is an ache or a pain or a tummy upset or not being able to lie down to sleep at night because you've eaten so much food. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at nobody in particular. <laughs> we went to a very nice Italian last night and ate far too much. As you do, as you do. All right, so it's a really important question though. What is it gonna take for you to look after yourself better? All right. Now, what it took for me this lifetime was somebody saying to me, you help an awful lot of people, which I do. Mm -hmm. It would be an awful shame if your life was cut short because mm -hmm. you didn't look after yourself. Mm -hmm. When you've acquired this level of spiritual consciousness that you have this lifetime, it really matters that you stay in your body so you can help more people, mm -hmm. yeah? So you're doing it not for you, you're doing it for others. And even more importantly, have you got kids? <coughs> no. All right, are there any kids around you, nieces, nephews? Yeah. that would learn from your example. Okay, for those of you that have got kids, <laughs> nieces, nephews, your legacy to your kids, you can say eat healthily, but if they don't see you doing it, guess what they're gonna do? You know, it's like the parent that says don't smoke, but they're sm pumping away, guess what the kids do? They smoke too. Yeah, so you've gotta find what is it for you, what is it gonna take for you to look after yourself better? Yeah, cool. Now, at the moment, you've not got your scarf wrapped around there, but do you often have a scarf around there? Mm -hmm. All right. Why would a medium block her throat chakra? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never have it tight. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of a... It's to hide the rolls of fat, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be aware. If you think about I'm glad to say that we haven't got a man in the audience in a collar and tie. What the use is a tie? Mm. It goes back to the slavery days when you'd, mm. and it blocks the throat chakra. So, so when you're wearing a, a collar and tie, you're less likely to speak your opinion, you see. Mm. Yeah. And you don't think that's ever said about me, is it? Yeah. Oh no, but you don't wear a collar and tie. They're all going to say. <laughs> the scarf though, even. Now, in your energetic space, the word that I'm getting is judgment. Okay. Now, look at that word judgment. Mm -hmm. And uh, very often when we're judging something, we're in our heads. Whether we're judging it's good or bad, right or wrong, we're in our heads. Instead of judgment, bring your awareness down into your heart center and instead discern what is best for you. All right, now this is the thing, if you want to improve the quality of your life, if you want to improve the quality of your health, do it in small incremental steps that are easy, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is step number one. When you wake up in the morning, before you get out of bed, I want you to just, it's a suggestion, I want you to lay in bed for five minutes, put your hands on your heart center, Breathe through your heart centre for five minutes before getting out of bed so that you get out into the world in a really good loving space. You can all do that, can't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. E now, once you've got out of bed, you might need a trip to the bathroom for anything like me, first stop is pit stop, yeah? Don't, first thing in the morning, look at text messages or emails, because they have the power to destroy your day, don't they? Mm -hmm. 
you can have woken up in a brilliant mood. Yeah? So you need to get yourself into a really good space before you do that. Yeah? Uh, and I recommend reading something that's really inspiring. I like Wayne Dyer, Eckhart Tolle. You know, a really good spiritually uplifting book. Yeah? And read that for 10, 15 minutes and decide how you are going to be energetically. Yeah, you make a choice. How am I going to be energetically today? What energy do I want to take into my day? It's all about energy. Now, what can you feel happening? It's um, bubbling and tingling all the way down. Yeah, lovely. Out through the feet. Cool. So, we have free will choice. There's a lot of stuff that will happen to you this lifetime that you have no say over. And then there's stuff that you do have free will choice over. God bless. And you can choose to be healthier. You can choose to have a better routine for going to sleep at night. We all need a good night's sleep, eh? Mm. Yeah, at Grandma's Day, what did they used to have? Mm. Warm milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that was the remedy, warm milk, yeah. They didn't have lots of TV, they might listen to the radio. If how many of you have fallen asleep in front of the TV? Raise your hands. How many of you have fallen asleep in front of the fire? Raise your hands. How many of you have fallen asleep in front of a computer? Doesn't happen, does it? <laughs> so when you're on a computer late at night, you wake yourself up. And it's a white or blue light coming off the screen. Yeah? And even these lights in here, these are white light. You want yellow lights. If you want to have a good night's sleep in your bedroom, you want the yellow lights, the old incandescent lights, yeah? Because the white and blue destroy melatonin. You need melatonin to sleep. Now, come the winter in England, you probably need some white and blue lights because you're not seeing enough sunlight. But in the summer, just incandescent lights will be fine. Now what's happening? <coughs> I don't know, they took me somewhere. Took you off, nearly sent you to sleep, didn't they? <laughs> We're just waiting for the snoring to start. No, I'm kidding. They do, they relax you deeply. Even though you're sat in front of a crowd, they relax you deeply. This will sound ridiculous, but you know when you see um, artwork if they open a body and there's all little ladders of people running up and down and turning <laughs> cogs and doing that. It feels like that. Yeah. Cool. So let's all just remind ourselves that these are our bodies. We shouldn't take them for granted, guys. That's what we tend to do. We take them for granted until something starts going wrong. You've got to really think about what is it my body needs to rebuild? What is it my body needs? And it wants real food. Your body wants real food, not processed rubbish. And I try and eat the foods that are right for the work I'm going to do. So if I'm going out for a long walk, I might eat some carbohydrates. If I'm doing a meditation, I might eat a salad. Yeah? Eat, think about what energy do I need? So what fuel do I need to put in for that particular activity? E like you love nature hmm. you love nature but are you spending enough time in nature no nope. no okay so go with what you love go with getting out into nature 30 minutes a day get yourself out into nature e and these two words are self-care Self-care is not being selfish. Self-care is a responsible thing to do because if you don't self-care, you will get sick and somebody else will have to look after you. Self-care. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Yeah, yeah, good. And so at the end of each week, I would suggest you reflect on the week and say, all oh, my weeks look like this. Have I cared for myself more this week than I did last? Mm -hmm. Like, when did you last read a book? Actually, I don't read books, but I read one last week. Good, good. That's you picking up on your guidance. 
Yeah. I've got loads of books. Yeah. They look really good on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or listen to audiobooks, either either. These are our bodies. We shouldn't take them for granted. We need to appreciate them. And so just, everybody just ask yourself this question. I don't want any answers, it's just for you personally. But what could I do to value this body more? What could I do? Some of you, it might need, they need relaxing. Some of you might need exercise. Um, what could I do? You might need a massage. What could I do to look after this body better? And just let your own wisdom arise to the surface within you about what could I do tomorrow or tonight to look after this body better. It might be go to sleep when you're tired. It might be do some gentle stretching when you first get up. Right, how's that feeling? Mm. Mm. It's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Have a walk around, see how you feel. I've got a little bit easier than I did before. Yeah. Much better. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.